Hi friends, this is Mark the Do Something Guy, and today I am out with my uh, dad, which you've seen in previous videos, and my youngest brother, Ben, which you've also seen, and also a couple of uh, others. I've got my brother, Alex. How's it going? And uh, buddy, Clayton. How's it going? And uh, we're here on a lake that I was canoeing on here just a little bit ago. So the island that I tried to canoe out to here just a couple weeks ago is that one clear out there. About a foot off the bottom. Ah, I got one. Check out that monster. You gotta hold him way out there so he's even an inch. I'm afraid these are all just little gomers. Here. That's what I'm afraid of. Let's go. <laughs> ah, hey, biggest perch of the day yet. It's a whole whopping three inches. Get off me pole. I'm gonna get my fingers wet. <laughs> Give me the worm. Oh yeah. Boop. Boop. There he goes. Oh, there's a hit on that pole. Hit and run. Oh, wait, he's in there. He's there. <laughs> now I got stuck in my uh, rod holder and now I'm about to throw it down the hole. But hey, I got the fish at least. Man, we are in the jumbos today. That was kind of embarrassing. I about lost my rod down the hole. Hey. Alright, a uh, secret here. They can reel down until there's no slack. No turn on the reel. And into the rod holder. Right on the perch money. The hungry starting to set in. Everybody's smelling what somebody's cooking on the ice. Probably a heater buddy hot dog. All right, Clayton, put on a plan. A little cherry picker rod, sweet, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> I'd say this is pretty slick. Yeah. I mean, I wish the fish were bigger, but hey. It's nice to know what you got around you, but it's frustrating when you see how many potential hits you could have. Dude, come on, man. I know. Getting frustrated. If I didn't have this thing, I wouldn't know if there's any fish in this freaking lake. Come on. Well, we've hit kind of an afternoon lull. Uh, we can see fish still on the fish finder, and they'll follow, but nothing's hitting anymore so we're kind of just hanging out enjoying the sunshine and uh, waiting for some evening bite we'll see what happens here in an hour or two as the sun starts to get closer to the trees but right now pretty slow we just decided to take make a move we were only catching short little perch about 75 yards or so over here where there's a little bit of a flat so far my dad me he's caught two nice perch not jumbos at least not for here most places call them jumbos but here they're just nice so we just moved over here and clayton goes and catches another minnow and bringing them things with us hey clayton's got a fish <laughs> let's get over there and... hey he's got himself a trout look at that look at that bass <laughs> you know how funny part is? yo is that sawfish yeah Carp? Is that one of them Chinese catfish? Let's see. Nice. First trout. What do we got, Mark? Got some good pole action. Now, big trout. First trout up in the reverse. <laughs> Did he swim by and snag himself? No, he took and rolled at it. Hey, 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 easy, easy. 
Oh, you're hunting right there, man. What's she doing? There you go, fish. That's the direction. That's a good trout right there. <laughs> that was a big male. Yes, sir. <laughs> right on. Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed that as much as we did. Uh, fishing wasn't great, but we sure had a good time. Um, it's nice to be out on a nice sunny day and enjoying the scenery and beautiful mountains around us and um, some time with family. And it was sure a good time. So we'll see you on the next one. Bye.